thanks for tuning in to this episode of Bill Ride Repeat. I am at the 2020 Timonium International Motorcycle Show. Uh, I heard they got some cool stuff in here and uh, I'm about to go ahead and check it out. <laughs> All right, let's go check this thing out. Thanks. How you fellas doing? How you fellas doing? Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Go tell them to send the Yo, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Got some cool stuff so far. That KZ 1000. What's up, Larry? Hey, 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 Pete. We got Pete from Zippers. <laughs> I say you got Pete from Zippers. Oh. Hey, you got Tall from Traveling Tall. What's happening? Going live right now. Oh, what's happening, baby? What's going on? No, he's even on there. You live too? No, I'm not live, but I'm doing a video. <laughs> hey, I got Traveling Tall up here. Okay, okay, okay. Got some cool bikes so far. So they got these pretty badass uh, KZs and GS bikes here. Garage Boy MC. Got this clean Grand Hall. <laughs> On the four G autos. Hey, hey, how you doing there, sir? All right, what's up, John? Yeah. I am Larry. I'm the guy that introduced you to Adolfo in uh, which got Spain. Did you ever get a chance to connect with him? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. I sent him some more pictures and shit. Okay, okay. Hell yeah. That's awesome. How's everything going for you today? Everything alright? Okay. So that's the XLA. Of course, you guys may remember the video from Spain where I talked to Adolfo with his XLA. This is John here in Maryland. He has another prime example, pristine example, but Harley Davidson XLA. One of only three or four maybe in existence. One of only three or four is actually in existence. So you can't be in a DMV and not know about Deuces Wow. And got the little, little, little dude here with him, checking out the show. See any cool motorcycles yet? So nah, we just got here. Right, 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 right. <laughs> all right, all right. So I've always heard of a shovester, but this here is a panster. Uh -huh. Casey Custom Cycles. Yeah. He was friends with Ron Trock and Eddie Better, which okay. are big Harley racers yeah. back then. They were all hanging in the garage. They said, Casey, there's no way you can build one of those. And they didn't know how either. And so he proved them wrong and he built it. Oh. And he built it for his wife at the time who had a baby, a son for him, and her name was uh, Mary uh, Jane. And uh, uh -huh. we found this bike. Um, we actually saved it. Um, and. Uh, we met her and she filled us in on all the history. It's quite oh. a lot. Uh, this particular 
uh, story yes. is not the correct story. Easy Rider did it um, when her husband died from brain cancer. She married another guy and he took credit for building the spike. Really? He never built it. When I won, took this to uh, Morgantown, I wrote it and yes. uh, won Best to Show. I had, when they did the article, uh, they um, did the correct story. Awesome, so, awesome. But uh, wow. yeah, this is, uh, it's, it's a beast. And, wow. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I can imagine. But yeah, this is old school. This, yes. This isn't one of those kits, you know. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, this is definitely something that you can't find no. a kit for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is awesome. I, mean, I can appreciate the story behind it. No, I'm glad you're pushing the mic. Yeah. All right. So, wow, it's a pretty interesting story on the panster. So, again, this is the incorrect story that was printed in Easy Riders in 87. And the correct story was published in the Cycle Source. Look at these crazy boosters and no, 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 bikes. time for America's Heartbeat Riders during Iron Thunder. He is in the house. He's America's only Yamaha drum truck band. Going to be doing a show a little bit. He's warming up. This is kind of like backstage. I thought I'd Pretty badass Henderson here. Pretty mean knuckle. And I'm actually not, I'm not one of the fast guys. I'm, I'm fairly decent, but I'm not a fast guy. So I raced this with six times. All these little little stickers are actually the tech stickers before you go on the track. The first three times we raced, they didn't even look at the bike. And then me and Billy, I was like, hey, we got to start looking at these bikes. They'd all be busted up and broken during the day, and we can fix them all night in the shop and go back out the next day and race them again. I said, we're finding like bearings that aren't seated right, all necks that aren't tight, really weird stuff. And I was like, we got to start teching these bikes. Yeah, that's right. We started teching them. So I retired this one in October, and it's the October, like October fest, and I just finished this, and that's the 1913 Harley Single. It's a single cylinder. Yes, it's a 35 cubic inch by horsepower. Got the Red Egg
you off the trial. Thank you. Yes, sir. So, are you, are you, did you own it from original? Yes. Wow. 72 now. 72 now. So that's how it looked when you, when you first bought it? Wow. And, and why do you call it, why do you call it willpower? Because that's my, belong to a mosaic group and that's my road name. Okay, okay, okay. Willpower, yeah. willpower? okay, okay. Yeah. Good meeting you, willpower. Nice to meet you. All right. Yeah, but back when I was younger, my nickname was Willie. Okay. So back when I was younger, I used to like to race a lot. Yeah. So then I started calling myself willpower. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So any, uh, so, so since this came from your racing days, it's did you all based up, yeah. So, uh, so you did some racing on this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So did you do the 750 conversion or did you? Yeah, I did the 750 conversion, yeah. Okay. It's got the racing cams in it. Okay. Heavy duty valve springs. Awesome. Oh, yeah. man. That was the first year that came out with a five-speed transmission. Too. Okay. We, you still, when you was racing, you still had it, the, 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 like with the swing arm and everything on it, or were you racing when, it when with I first, chopper? When I first, I raced it right from the day one, like that. Okay. And then I raced it at the top. Really? Right? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. 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 Forty-eight year old motorcycle. Yeah. Hey, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy you still have it. Yeah. Yeah. But it, that is not. The, did he ever get away from you? Like, far as he owned it the entire no. 48 years? I didn't know it the entire 48 years. I let it um, probably set for maybe eight or nine years. Okay. My kids were coming up. Yes. I, I let it set. Okay. And then after they got seniors in high school. Brought it back in. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah. So, what kind of bike do you have? I have a 2001 Road King, and I actually have a 67 BSA Thunderbolt. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so, so, you, so you know about the British bike. Yeah, seeing old friends catching up with tall from traveling tall and seeing the guys from zippers and meeting new friends so thanks again for tuning in make sure you like comment share subscribe and uh we'll see you in the next one